Welcome to the Weathering, Erosion, and Deposition Lab here in O37. We have eight stations set up for you, and we'll be doing the lab for the next three days on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. Welcome to Station 1. This is Plucking, where you'll demonstrate how a glacier picks up sediment as it moves down a mountainside. You'll have an ice cube and a tray of sand. So what you do is you get your ice cube, place it on the sand, and have your partner lift it up at an angle, and as you roll the ice cube down, you can see how much sediment it collects and pushes on the way down. Uh, and once you're done, make sure you clean up your area and answer questions 1, 2, and 3. Welcome to station two, glacial abrasion, where you will be demonstrating with an ice cube and some modeling clay how a glacier is able to make scars down the mountain. So you want to make sure your mountain of clay is uh, nice and smooth at first. And when you take your ice, you'll go ahead and use it and make some gentle scars coming down the cliff here. Uh, and you're going to want to also sketch how it looks before and after your glacier has abrased the surface of the mountain. Be sure to answer questions one through eight. Welcome to Station 3, the Wind Erosion and Deposition Lab. As you can see, I'm now wearing goggles because of the potential of sand possibly blowing in your face. So we got a bucket of goggles here for you to also help yourself. So make sure you got goggles on. Now in this station, what we have is obviously a fish tank filled with sand. You're going to want to take your little, uh, little shovel here and kind of move the sand to dunes. You can use your hands if you want. That's perfectly fine. Uh, if this is not working well, then you can use this. Use your hands. Um, and what you're going to want to do is just position, position some things, your uh, pine cones, they could be objects and trees. And once that's done, go ahead and start the hair blow dryer. Don't touch the actual hair blow dryer, just go ahead and use the button on the plug right here. And that'll start it. And since you'll be at the station for 15 minutes, it's okay to let it run for a while and watch what happens after time has passed. Now if you take a close look, you can see some sediments do move and some do not. And so you'll make your observations on that. Uh, some kids in the past have set up time lapse of their picture with their cameras and watch the sand move over time. So that's up to you. And also be sure to answer questions one through five on station three. Welcome to station four, the stream table, one of my personal favorites. Here you're gonna demonstrate how a stream is able to erode and deposit sediment along the river channel and um, along the floodplain there. So, first directions, uh, we're gonna make some modifications here, is just to turn the water on slowly for about 15 seconds, we'll go ahead and do that, or however long it takes to fill up this lake at this end of the stream table. Now once that lake starts spilling over the rim and heading its way down to the, um, to the bottom of the stream channel, then you can turn the water off, or run, let it run slowly. Now as you can see, it's beginning to cut that channel all the way down. And we can see it eroding some of the smaller sediment and depositing towards the bottom there. Here we're going to start answering questions 6 through 11 and on step 5 it asks you to try to create some of the fallen river features and you can try and do that. Uh, an important thing is to reset it for the following group by taking this black shovel here and just scooping the material back up to reset it for the next group as best you can. Now you can wait for all that water to, I, I would have you wait for all the water to drain out and then do that. So you have 15 minutes to make the observations and clean up. Just trying to make it look like how it did when you came to station four. Welcome to station five, the flood plains station. Uh, you have some several equipment set up here. Uh, first off, we have a beaker with about a centimeter of sand. And you have a pie tin to catch some water that's gonna spill out. And a thousand milliliter beaker filled with about 750 milliliters of water. Now, there's two things you'll need to do here. The river is represented by the beaker itself with the sediment, and the floodplain is represented by the pie tin. Now, first, you'll pour all the water in very slowly and see how much sediment is poured out into the floodplain. Then you'll reset the experiment, and the second time you'll pour the water, same amount, very quickly to see how much sediment spills over the second time. Be sure to answer questions one through five and clean up your area after you're done. Welcome to station six. This is the speed of moving sediment station. Uh, the day of the experiment, you actually have a two liter bottle and it will have a cap, but this is probably one of the easier, faster experiments to be doing for this station. Uh, it's gonna ask you to first shake the bottle for 10 seconds, slowly, and you'll do that. And as you aggravate the sediment, you're gonna see how long it takes with your stopwatch for the sediment to settle back down. 
The second time you'll be shaking it quickly for 10 seconds and doing the same thing, timing how long it'll take to settle down. Be sure you have your stopwatch, any iPhone will be fine or any type of electronic device to get the timing on, that'll be fine. And don't forget to answer questions three through seven on this page. Welcome to station seven. This is the mass movement station. As you can see, we have some bright pink aquarium gravel and a large cookie sheet and a meter stick. Here, what you're gonna do is measure the difference in the angle of the slope, see how the gravel moves. Now you'll pour out your gravel onto your cookie sheet and the paperwork asks you to measure at different levels how long it takes those gra that gravel to fall to the bottom of the, of the cookie sheet. And you're gonna raise it at different levels and see how long it takes for the movement to stop. Welcome to station eight, mass movement. This time, it's similar to station seven, but we're comparing different types of sediment. As you can see, your uh, collection here has, once again, that pink gravel, some sand, and just some regular dirt. And in this experiment, you're holding the cookie sheet steady at about 25 centimeters and comparing how each different sediment moves as opposed to different levels as it was in station seven. Your instructions are pretty simple, so you'll be able to look at that and understand uh, how to set up the experiment and make sure you clean up and put all the appropriate sediments back into the appropriate cups and the funnel may help you and be sure to answer questions uh, one through six Station one will start along the counter by the main door be sure you snake around to each subsequent station Note when you get to station four the stream bed you may use aprons be sure to clean up after each station. And once you get to the last station, you're done with the lab.